Glenn Sather is perhaps one of the most overrated GMs in the history of the NHL. Yes, he built a dynasty team in Edmonton and won many cups with them. But that was without a salary cap and that was with a lot fewer teams in the league at the time. As Rangers GM, Glenn Sather hasn't done anything except made bad signings and some questionable trades. This episode I will be talking about Glenn Sather's worst moves as Rangers GM. Glenn Sather has made many bad free agent signings as Rangers GM. In the summer of 2002, Glenn Sather was determined to make noise on the free agent market and that he did. He signed Bobby Halik to a 5 year $45 million contract, that's $9 million annually. This is a ridiculous contract because he's at best a second line center. He's really a third line center. He followed that one up by signing Darius Kasparaitis to a six year $25 million contract. That would be $4.16 million per season. Darius Kasparaitis is not a $4 million player. Both these contracts were huge mistakes. Bobby Holik ended up being bought out from his contract and Darius Kasparaitis ended up being waived. In the summer of 2007, Glenn Sather made two colossal mistakes again. He signed Chris Jury and Scott Gomez to matching 5 year $35 million contracts. That's $7 million annually. Let's just say both Chris Jury and Scott Gomez did not live up to their contract. Chris Jury saw his production decline every year he was with the Rangers. Scott Gomez did not live up to expectation with the Rangers and he was ultimately traded for none other than Ryan McDonough. And they got really lucky at that. In many Ranger fans minds, this is the worst signing by far for Glenn Sather. The Wade Redden signing. A six year $39 million contract. This would pay him $6.5 million annually. Wade Redden would not live up to this contract, obviously, and he was ultimately buried in the AHL. One gigantic mistake that Glenn Sather made was signing Brad Richards to a nine-year deal worth $60 million. That is $6.67 million annually. Richards obviously did not live up to his contract and he was bought out using the compiling bio. If you think that Glenn Sather only made bad signings, think again. He made some pretty bad trades too. Trade deadline 2004. Glenn Sather traded lifelong ranger Brian Leach to the Toronto Maple Leafs for two players that would never pan out. This trade was terrible. The players he got traded for never amounted for any success and he was arguably one of the best Rangers of all time. Everyone remembers the infamous 2003 NHL entry draft where multiple stars were drafted. The Rangers selected Hugh Jessamine with the 12th pick. Hugh Jessamine is the only player in the first round that never played a single NHL game. Players drafted after Jessamine were Brent Seabrook, Dustin Brown, Zach Parisi, Corey Perry, Brent Burns, Ryan Getzlaff, etc. Towards the end of his tenure with the Rangers, the Rangers did go deep in the playoffs, but it came at a cost. While trying to acquire some marquee players by a trade, he gave up early picks and he didn't leave much cap room. So now that's why the Rangers are in the crossroads they're in right now. Next episode, I'll be talking about Paul Holmgren's worst moves as Flyers GM.